In the next lessons, we will discuss how to use statistics to describe quantitative data. You will gain insight into the process of how data is collected and how to answer questions using your data. Throughout this lesson, I hope you learn to be critical of the analysis that happened under the hood and what the numbers actually mean. As an example of an analysis that we do here at Udacity, we look at how long a nanodegree program takes students to complete. We try to provide an estimate of the number of months or hours that students will spend. One way we might start is by reporting the average amount of time it takes to complete the nanodegree program, but that doesn't tell the whole story. I'm sure there are differences in completion depending on what students knew before entering the program. The shortest amount of time needed to complete the nanodegree program might just be a few weeks. How did those people complete the course so fast? While the longest might be a couple of years, what proportion of students finish faster than two months? What proportion take longer than eight months? Using a variety of measures, like measures of center, give you an idea of the average student. Measures of spread give you an idea of how students differ. Visuals can provide us a more complete picture of how long it takes any student to complete a program. The material in the next sections will show you how to use these measures in a way that is informative and understandable to others.